this is Kevin from pixelvert.com. So we're going to be looking at creating morphing shapes in After Effects. This is the example that I worked on. As you can see, it's just one shape which is repeated three times and After Effects takes care of the morphing. So what we're going to do is just to look at the layer that I created and it's just one shape and um, we've got this repeater and the repeater creates these uh, other versions here. The repeater is added using this button down here and you just choose repeater. You can choose other settings as well. Now you can also do this with masks. This is something I did with a couple of masks and a few keyframes. So pretty cool and very easy to do. We are not going to look in depth at how to create these. I'm just going to show you the basic technique and then leave the experimentation to you. So we'll start off with uh, creating a mask uh, animation. So something like this, just a little bit simpler. We'll create a new layer, make it a solid and uh, hit OK to that. Then we're going to Photoshop. Inside of Photoshop, I've got a shape and the shape is just a shape that I got from a website, custom shape, which I got from a website called allsilhouettes.com. Uh, you can download any kind of shape you want uh, from the internet or you can draw your own shapes. So this one here has got two paths. We've got one outside path and then we've got one inside path. I'm just going to go to edit, copy and in After Effects, we're going to go to the solid layer and paste. Let's just switch this one off. And that's what we've got there. If we open this up, you'll see that we've actually got two masks for the two paths. So what I'm going to do is to select both of these paths, open them up and then click on the mask path stopwatch that creates a couple of keyframes we're going to move forward a couple of seconds uh, and then i think we can actually right click and choose mask and shape path free transform and i'm going to hold down control and option or control and alt that should be i think command and option and just flip it around 180 degrees and we've got a very basic simple animation there let's just move these over here so that's the uh, basic idea it's really really simple and when you're working with masks you can work with shapes that are about as complex as you want so that's one very basic animation we're going to move on to shapes. Let's switch this off and I'm going to go to layer new shape layer. And what I'm going to do is to choose the pen tool. What I like to do is just to draw any old shape. Great. Then we're going to Photoshop. Now inside of Photoshop, I'm going to choose this shape here. And with this shape here, it's only got one path. So you can see more clearly, we've only got one path. I've added just a, an inner shadow just for de decoration. But what we'll do is that we'll grab the path selection tool, select it, again, edit, copy. And inside of uh, After Effects, we need to go to the shape layer, open it up, open up the contents, open up the shape, open up the path, and go to the keyframeable attribute which is also called path. I'm going to click on the stopwatch just to set that going. Hit paste and we've now got our shape. We'll go to one second. We'll create another keyframe. We'll go to two seconds and then we'll alter the shape of this path. So what I'm going to do is to create another one path shape. So we'll go to the custom shape tool. I'm going to choose another shape this one here and I'm just going to draw out the shape 
once again copy that. And inside of After Effects, making sure I've got the path attribute selected, I'm just going to paste. And that will create a new keyframe. We'll go one step further and create a second keyframe. Now let's animate that. I'm going to take a closer look at that. Now there's a few things we can do with the animation because I think the animation is not really smooth enough. So I want to change the animation so it's a little bit smoother. What I'm going to do is to open this up again and then navigate to this keyframe, to the third keyframe. And once again, I'm going to select the path. I'm going to go here and right click and choose free transform points. And what I want to do is to again rotate it 180 degrees. So holding down control and alt. And then we can go here and delete this keyframe. Go to this keyframe, copy it, select it, then move forward, paste it. And we're going to look at this new animation. So the animation has changed, but it's still not very smooth. What I'm going to do is to go to this keyframe, select the path. And if I zoom in here, you should see that we've got one first vertex. Most of these points here are squares. There's one square which is a double square. It's actually got a dark square and then a blank square on the outside. This is what's known as a first vertex. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to go to the next keyframe. And what I want to do is to move the first vertex from here on this particular shape down to around the same location. So let's just see what that does. If we change this, let's say this guy here to the first vertex. So I'm going to click away then click here. Make sure that we've only got one selected. Right click and choose set first vertex. Uh, and once again, animate that and see what that looks like. Now, I think that that animation looks a lot smoother. So once again, we'll select that guy, delete it. Select this one here, copy it, move forward, paste. So I'm just hitting Control C and Control V on the keyboard. Or you can use your normal copy and paste shortcut keys on the uh, Mac. And I think this should produce a much smoother, uh, a much more serene looking animation. Let's just go to the background and see what that looks like. I think that's a lot smoother. You can mess around with free transform, mess around with the first vertex, and quite often you'll find that you'll get the kind of animation you're looking for. I wanted a really smooth animation here, and that's what we've got more or less. What I would say is that uh, just experiment and see what you get. If you can't get a smooth looking animation, then maybe try a different shape. But again, you can experiment with uh, masks. You can experiment with shapes. Remember that shapes can be turned into 3D ray traced objects inside of After Effects CS6. I'm sure you'll find that you can very easily create cool looking, interesting morphing. So that's going to be it for this video, but thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. Bye.